when you buy a lot, a lot of land, you just put the house on the lot, right in the middle. It's very easy. When you buy acreage, you have so much space dictated by so many factors that you have too many options and it's actually not that easy because you don't want to screw it up because it costs a fortune to develop raw land and you don't want to pick this spot and then you get out there and you're like, I don't like it. When I closed on this, I came out here with my little boots on and a commitment to walk every square inch of that land until I found the spot where I was meant to put the house and the barn and the pasture and all my smug, disrespectful animals. And I get out there in the woods and I, I say a little prayer. Dear Lord, it's me again. Can you please send me a highly obvious, easy to interpret sign about where I am supposed to put this house? A large sprawling live oak tree or a babbling brook, a burning bush. We all know you like that trick. No, no, oh no, nothing but acres and acres and acres of the same blessed pine tree. And I notice when I'm out there that it is damn hard to walk around. There is a foot of old dead pine needles and there's just this hateful brush everywhere. So I decide I'm gonna burn the land. This is very normal outside of the HOA. Deep breath. It clears out the underbrush and then you can actually see what you're working with. The easiest and the cheapest thing is that you just go burn your land. However, I worked for a long time in TV news and I know that far too many people have a little bit too much white claw, walk outside with a match and end up starting a wildfire. And while I have no doubt that in this lifetime, I will absolutely have a mugshot, I want it to be for something that is a bit more on brand, like illegal trafficking of miniature ponies across state lines. I have to do the most responsible, most expensive, but safest option which is to call the Forest Service, who will, during certain times of the year, do a controlled burn. I meet these boys out here, and this is no ragtag operation. They're going to bring in bulldozers, and they're going to have crews, and they're going to monitor the humidity and my horoscope, and they're going to watch for hot spots, and it is it is impressive. I said, this is wonderful. Where do I sign? Let's go. But no, no. There's one catch and we'll call that catch my one neighbor. They tell me that because I have one neighbor all the way over yonder, I have to go get my neighbor to sign away their right to sue any of us if this goes sideways. To which I say, it's not terribly easy to get people to sign away their right to sue you if you burn down or damage their home. But I will give it my all. Give me the document and I will go talk to her right now. There's no document. There's no document. Am I just supposed to draft something up on whatever? Yes. Uh, Your Honor, objection, Exhibit A, this here used Taco Bell wrapper, you can clearly see on the back, underneath the grease stain, where the plaintiff states, Y'all good. This does not sound very credible. I don't imagine that she is going to sign this. So if she refuses to sign, then what are my options at that point? Then you can burn it. I can burn it. Casey Roman, I, with no experience with arson or setting anything above a candle ablaze, I can come back here and give it the old college try. Mm-hmm. Well, what if I screw it up and burn down all of North Carolina? Then you're gonna get a ticket. A ticket? That's it? Not even a Fisher Price My First Felony? A ticket. Okay. I have certainly, as a real estate agent, had to approach plenty of people with paperwork to sign, all backed by a difficult conversation. But I have never had to knock on a stranger's door and have a conversation that is the equivalent of... <laughs> She signed. Let's go burn this bitch down. <laughs>